I'm here with Elise Kambernak uh, at the Nashville Analytics Summit. So the keynote's going on right now, and the, the room is packed. So what are you most excited about coming into this year's Analytics Summit? Well, uh, the first thing I'm super excited is to see how many attendees we have this year again and seeing that grow. Um, and uh, having a packed room, to your point, is really exciting. Uh, the th second thing that I'm really uh, most excited about this week is that every single topic is going to touch about the advance in AI and, and generative AI and all those things. So it's not just data analytics. It's just for much beyond that and yet uh, super excited about the future of data. Yeah, AI is really a game changer as far as far as uh, working with data. So, how many uh, how many requests coming into this did you get for AI breakouts? Like, was anybody begging you to do more AI in the show? Yeah, absolutely. We had, uh, I think, in the 60, 70 ish uh, submissions to find 35 topics for breakout sessions. And we had to make tough choices to make sure that we had a right balance of pure AI topics, but also lessons learned and key learnings that uh, case, case studies and other things like that. So we would balance out the talks, but we had way more submissions that we could accommodate for sure. That's awesome. So I've, I've noticed and talked to a, a lot of first-time uh, Nashville Anal Analytics Summit uh, participants. So what's, what's one piece of advice that you would give everybody who's here for the first time? I would say uh, look at the look at the contents, look at the description, and pick your topics uh, in your breakout sessions early, and make sure you attend them uh, because we're it's such a packed agenda that I know it's difficult to sometimes choose. So uh, do that ahead of time uh, during a break. Pick out what you're going to go next, uh, and hopefully vote or rate it at the end so we know what we can repeat throughout the year and bring back. And so what about, uh, what about networking? Because it also seems like you've got the best data minds in the country here today. Mm -hmm. So it, if, uh, if somebody was wanting to meet somebody or to talk to somebody, is this, kind of, is this the kind of environment where you just walk up and say, hey? Oh, absolutely. Hey, we're in Nashville, right? We're all about the relationship. We're a southern hospitality town. Uh, so networking should come easy. Uh, we have a few things set up too for networking. We have tomorrow breakout discussion points. We are one of the rooms dedicated to discussions with different partners in the community, whether uh, it is women in technology or different universities who, uh, who will actually organize conversations and discussion points to kind of break the ice and let that networking going. And we have a uh, hallway down, uh, a floor down with all the booths, with all the spots Sponsors, and that's the best place to start the conversations because you're going to meet at a you know, breakout or at a sponsor table, at our uh, pre presenting sponsor table, or even at the coffee cart to get a sample of a fancy coffee. That's the icebreaker, and it's easy to get uh, to talk to people here. I did hear somebody raving over the Make Your Own Latte booth. Uh -huh. they, were, they were very, very excited about that. So one last thing is I'm surprised that this year that there are students here as well. So I was expecting professionals like, uh, you know, top end, like data mines and stuff like that. But there, there's a lot of like developing talent here too. Is that intentional? Yes, it's very intentional. Uh, we have two, two kinds. First, we, uh, it's pretty large uh, event to put together. So we have a lot of uh, students helping us, volunteering, checking people in and out of the session. So that's one thing. And they're all interested in technology and data in general. So they're actually learning, they're helping us, but they're also learning from the sessions. And then number two, we have a couple sessions that are focused on student showcase and seeing and really give them the opportunity to show what they're learning in school. So it's very intentional uh, because this is also, to your point about networking, this is the best place to also come find a job. And companies are open to learn about who the next talents are. Maybe they don't have a position open yet today, but that's how you start, right? On the job search is by making contacts. And we want to provide that opportunity to all the students in town. That's really good. So you heard it, you heard it students. Go up to people, talk to them become friends with them and then increase your chances of getting a job in the future. So thanks Elise. Are there any closing words you have for us? 
Uh, enjoy the conference. It's going to be a fun two days and still st still stay until the end. Thank you, Tori. Thanks, Elise. Have a good show.